Hey there, I'm your host Lasawi, and in today's video, I will show you how to create a transform slash morph system, whichever you prefer to call it. So if I press my F button, we will transform into the mutant. Now, of course, this isn't the smoothest transformation, but you can uh, change this or make it better with better animations. And you can, of course, add a Niagara particles effect, which would make it 10 times better. So guys, with all this said, let's begin. For this tutorial, you're going to need four animations two for your player character, and two for the transformed creature. So, for example, we have the changing into and the transforming back. Same for the creature. We have transformed into and transforming back. So with that said, let's go back to Unreal. Once you're back in Unreal Engine, let's go to our player and to the animations. So over here, you can see my two animations. We have the kneeling down, which is simply just the transform the back. And we have the morph spell, which will transform me into the creature. So select both of these, do right click and create an a montage. Now over here, you want to create a notify to signal to your player when to change. So let me go into the morph spell and let's say we want to change on this frame over here. So that's perfect. Let's right click and notify, montage notify. Now we can save that and same goes for the other one. But for this, I'll actually prefer him just to transform and play it like so. And once you've done that, let's go to our mutant. So this would be in the content. So mutant essentially is like another player character. I just don't have the animations blueprint. So we have the skeleton, the animations and all of that good stuff. So inside the morph, we have the two animations I showed you, the transform back and transform into. So the same thing in place. We want to select them, go create and create anim montage. Now for these, I will do the same thing. So we have the transform into. I think I will leave this one play as it is. But when we are transforming back, I want a montage notify to signal to my player to change. So I think before he goes out of the bicep pose or whatever you want to call this, I think about here would be good. So let's do a right click and notify montage notify. So once you're happy, save all of this. And we can go into our player character, which is in the content player, and I'm using Brady. So over here, you'd want to actually create one more thing, which would be an input action. I might have mine created, but if you don't, that's fine. So yeah, let me just delete this quickly. So over here, we would right click, go to input, input action. Let's call it IA underscore morph. And once you have it, save it, go to your IMC. Create your new input mapping and select the morph. And for me, I'll have it on the F key. Save that and exit. So once you have the input action, let's go back to our player. We want to right click and look for IA underscore morph, which is the input action we just created. Then let's create a branch. So press B and left mouse button and plug it into started. The condition we're going to have is a new variable, which is going to be a boolean and let's say is morphed. So if morphed is true, we want to make it false. But if it is false, we want to make it true. So let's get set. If it's true, we set it to false. If it is false, we set it to true. And that's how we are going to roll. So then from here, we need a play montage. So play montage like so. And I will say all of this is just copy paste. So let's actually just create it at the top. And later, when we are finished with that, we can paste it all the way down. So on the mo montage to play, so if morphed is true, we want to change back. So we want to play the transform back montage. And on notify begin, we want to get a skeletal mesh. So let's do set skeletal mesh. And this also reminds me not to forget to plug that into the montage like so. Okay, so the skeleton mesh we are setting is going to be Brady because we are changing back. Then let's do to do, do once again, we can copy this and let's do set anim instance class. And this is simply our animation blueprint, because if you use the wrong animation blueprint, then everything is going to look wrong. So AB underscore Brady is the one we want to use. And then I'm going to get the character movement and set speed because my mutant will have a slower speed than Brady. 
So of course, just uh, fiddle around what you need and what you don't need. But I want my character to move faster than the mutant. From here, we can do get the capsule component, and let's do set relative relative scale. 3d now the reason i'll be doing this is because my mutant uh, again i want it to be bigger than my player so i'm going to increase it by 0.5 and we'll have this value all around so the next thing we are going to do is get the spring arm like so and let's do set relative location and plug that into here so over here, I'm just going to set this to be 60. Normally, I have it 50, and the reason for that is since the capsule is bigger, um, it would look better if the spring arm is a bit higher. So next, let's get our camera. And since the mutant's bigger, I want to zoom out. Of course, all of these steps are not necessary if you're keeping them a very similar height or size. So from the camera, let's do set relative location once again plugging that into here and for the camera of the player i'm going to leave it as 0, 0, 0 but for the mutant we would change it to minus 100 on the x next let's get the mesh and to set relative location and once again i'm going to explain why i'm doing this so over for the player we normally have minus 90 on the set and x, y would be, we would leave um, as normal. So if I go into the viewport and change this into my mutant, same with the animation blueprint. So this is what would happen if you didn't have it. You see how it is um, not centered perfectly. So just to fix this minor issue, um, I change it to minus 20 over there. And that fixes it for me. So back inside of the event graph, the very last thing we need to do is a play montage and let's connect the mesh so the montage we want to play let us see so if morph this true we want to change back so we change back into um, brady from our mutant and then we want the kneel down which is just uh, standing on basically so that's all for the player let's copy paste this thing it's exactly uh or very similar actually to the mutant. So I'll just put it there uh, like so. So if it is true, uh, so if Morph is false, we want to change into the mutant. So the transform to play, it would, we would be doing the Morph transform. Then of course the skeletal mesh is our mutant. Animation class changes to the mutant. Our set speed changes to 400 because we are slower. And yes, of course we are bigger. So I'm changing this over here. Now, this is my mistake. This should actually be at zero for the player himself. We only want this to be increased in size if we are the mutant. So that's all good. Now, for the set relative location, uh, over here, I'm going to do minus uh, 20, I believe, like so, and 50. Or it is 50 for the player. Now, I just got confused. That's my bad. I will be 60 over here. And let me just leave this at zero. See how everything looks like. And for the camera, then for this, I'm going to do minus 100. Right. And for set relative location, I'm, set, I'm setting one for the mesh. Okay. So never mind. The spring arm is the wrong thing. I just want to set this to be minus 20 for the mesh. And of course, if we are transformed, we want to play transformed into just to make it look a little better. Compile and save. And let's see what happens. So if I run around and press my F key, we go bang into the mutant and we can walk about. And of course, he's slower. Our camera's changed and all of that good stuff. So if I change my mind and turn back, we are back. And of course, guys, like I said before, you can make this look 10 times better if you have some Niagara effects, some particle effects, and better animations as well. So guys, with all that said, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.